Welcome to Electro Online, and now we're going to prove the addition formula for the tangent. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the tangent and convert it to the sine over the cosine. So we're going to write this as follows. The tangent of a plus b is equal to the sine of a plus b divided by the cosine of a plus b. And I know what you're thinking now, okay, so now we're going to expand those out and then everything should simplify and turn into that. Well, not quite that simple, but at least you're thinking in the right direction. So this is going to be equal to the sum of a plus b for the sine, so that means we have the sine of a times the cosine of b plus the cosine of a times the sine of b. Divided by, and the cosine of a plus b becomes the cosine of a times the cosine of b and that would then be minus the sine of A times the sine of B. Now this is where most people get stuck because if you don't know the trick, it's very difficult to go on from here. But remember, you need to end up with a one here somehow. So somehow we need to turn this into one. So that means if we divide the numerator and the denominator by the cosine of A times the cosine of B, we can make this turn into a one. So that will give us, that kind of gives us the hint. So this is going to be times one over the cosine of a times the cosine of b divided by 1 over the cosine of a times the cosine of b. Now hopefully everything else will fall into place when we do that. So let's go ahead and multiply that through. So that gives us the sine of a times the cosine of b divided by the cosine of a times the cosine of b plus cosine a sine b divided by cosine a cosine b and the whole thing divided by we have cosine a cosine b divided by cosine a cosine b and that will give us the one minus sine a sine b divided by cosine a cosine b all right let's see what simplifies so here we have cosine b cosine b, we have cosine a cosine a. This whole thing turns into one, so let's see what we get when we do that. So this is equal to sine a divided by cosine a plus sine b divided by cosine b all divided by one minus sine a cosine a times sine b cosine b and then we have sine a divided by cosine sine a divided by sine b divided by cosine b sine a divided by cosine a sine b divided by cosine b we can turn all those into tangents when we do we get the tangent of a plus the tangent of b divided by one minus the tangent of a times the tangent of b and we have exactly what we have over there and that's how we prove that. So just that one little inside, realizing that we have to somehow make this into a one, the trick is divide both the numerator and the denominator by cosine A cosine B, cosine A cosine B, and we have what we're looking for. And that's how we prove the addition formula for the tangent.